Born in Kenya, Dr. Manjit Singh Hanjin migrated to Punjab with his family at the age of three. His family settled in the UK six years later and he went on to become a general practitioner. In 2013, Dr. Manjit took early retirement from his medical career and moved to Malaysia to pursue his passion for painting. Art intrigued Dr. Manjit from a very young age. He was inspired by the works of late Soba Singh, a well-known contemporary painter from Punjab. His paintings have a strong inclination towards the Sikh religion and the gurus, but he also does non-religious paintings. I enjoy doing them as well. But my, I think my forte is the peace and the tranquility I get as an artist, just doing things like this. Although he misses his medical practice, Dr. Manjit says he does not regret leaving it. Uh, I was in medicine working for about nearly 30 years in the UK. And even then, up in my clinic, there was one part of the clinic, the room was divided, there was only I was allowed to go in there. That's where I had my art stuff. So occasionally, I would escape, during the quiet time period, I would escape into my art room and do a little bit. Uh, but over the years, I always felt that I was kind of chained down. My heart was always in heart. So five, five years ago, opportunity presented to me whereby some other doctors were willing to take over my practice. And uh, I was able to leave everything there and decide this is what I want to do. Apart from listening to devotional songs and religious talks while painting, he also draws inspiration from his wife. And there is one more thing that inspires me. My wife uh, likes to watch me paint. And she will uh, quite often sit there behind me and do her meditation, the Sukhmi Sai part. So while she's doing that, uh, that helps. Dr. Manjit says most of his paintings are mood-oriented. I will do them only when I feel like doing them. And sometimes the mood is such with certain paintings that the paint will just flow very fast. And there are one or two paintings I have completed. I have completed within a few hours. Everything, by the grace of God, goes nicely. And then you get somewhere the mood doesn't, the paints don't quite flow, so I tend to leave them to one side, the paintings, and we'll come back to it a week, a month, sometimes six months later, I'll come back and uh, try and complete it then. He has held several exhibitions in the UK, Singapore, and at several gurdwaras in Malaysia. The latest was held at the Tat Khalsa Diwan Gurdwara during the Vaisakhi pre-celebration. Traditionally, uh, Sikh art, I think, I don't mean in a critical way, but it has become rather boring that the Sikh Gurus are always shown in a very cartoonish, boring depicted, uh, boring pose of just sitting there like this. And I think rightfully, and understandably, the youngsters and some of the older persons also have got bored with that. I hope I'm able to break that mold of showing a new image of something very soothing. It's pleasing that the paintings are pleasing to look at and yet they have a message in there that they will remember, uh, get some message out of it and to do a bit of meditation or remember God and maybe me too. <laughs>